welcome back. My name is Vanessa from Wild Woman Bushcraft. At my last movie I show you the winter wonderland and the snow catastrophe in Bavaria and in my hometown. And many of you wrote me after this movie if I have something special in my car for those kind of situations and if I prepared my car a little for the winter time. Yes, of course, there is enough equipment for all eventualities and what I have in my car special for the winter time I will show you now. Of course I had not all of this stuff um, every time with me in the car. Um, I make the equipment every time new when I drive away. So if I have only to drive to the supermarket in my hometown, this is of course not all here in the car. Um, I, I make it new for every trip, so I thought before I start how I am moving in. It is um, only on the street or it is um, higher in the mountain where it can be more dangerous or how many people have I with me. Is it only for me or should I have more equipment for more people who are driving with me in the car. So. I will put now everything out and um, tell why I have this with me and why I am think this is um, good to carry with me and yeah this is just an example this means not that I think this is only the right way and um, it is only for me the right way and maybe you find some things where you say yeah this is a good idea I will carry this with me too in my car. So, and before I start, I must to say that this is um, a very long movie with full information and equipment. So I make two parts. And in my normal movies, <coughs> I don't have to say that much. So, um, before I start, sorry for my bad English. Maybe um, I say some words uh, a little bit wrong because those are words that I don't use um, in the normal life. Okay, let's start and take a look inside. Okay, I think this one has every one of you with you in the winter to scratch away the ice. But I think this is very important that you can drive safe. And when I am outside for a walk or a trip I don't let this in my car, I put this under my car, so when I come back and the car is full of ice and snow, I don't have to open the car before and the snow falls inside of the car, so every time under the car. And also important for me, a cup, uh, isolation cup with hot tea. Um, anywhere where I go I have this hot can here. In my car because when I come back and I have so cold hands and are cold from inside out I had this perfect hot tea and this is so good before I packed my car I thought what is really important what should I take with me and I made me four categorizations the first, first aid for me and for others. Second, if I had to stay longer in the car, food and preparation, how I cook the food and what I need. Third, um, if it is getting hot and I have to stay overnight, what do I need? And also what do I need to um, make my body warm over the day if nobody is coming to help me and at last um, if I had to escape if I had to leave the car and go into the civilization and search there for help so um, I wrote these four categorizations on a paper and then I thought what um, what do I need in every one of these four points. 
not only in the winter time the fire extinguisher is the whole time the whole year in my car because it can happen so fast that the car is burning or other car is burning and it is also good in our bushcraft uh, yeah when we are doing bushcraft that we have a fire extinguisher with us is the fire is um, getting dangerous so and this is not the only one I have with me, with me. I have um, also a second fire extinguisher in my car I buy this snow shovel for my last winter overnighter to make a snow camp and here after them I've let the shovel here in the car and I have to use it twice to um, shovel a car free who is um, coming away from the street and yeah the cars were in a big ice bank so I have to put the ice at first with this climbing pickle away because it is it was so hard that I can't that we can't put it away with the shovel and here if I don't need it um, to climbing I have um, the pickle always in the car for so uh, for those kind of situations so these two things are also for first aid if someone else or I had an accident, um, I have this battery spotlight with me. Um, I have a second that I use at home. So um, when I need um, a lot of light, I've put those battery flashlight here on the earth and then I can light out the whole area if something has happened. Maybe we have to put um, a car back to the road or something else. This is also the wall year in my car. This is when um, a tire is um, yeah, broken. So um, this is an inflanting bottle and um, I make a puncture in tire. Also if I have, no, scheiße. This inflanting bottle I have also the whole year with me if I have a puncture and a tire. Um, I fill it with this um, instant set. This is uh, like a foam mass and so I can drive some kilometers to the next um, car, uh, car garage. This is um, a small signal pistol and I can make with those one um, a signal in the heaven um, maybe it can go uh, 30 meters high and this here is like a firework fire art and if I need help I can um, shoot this in the heaven and um, hope that someone is seeing this and send some help with, to me. So um, you have to look before if you are allowed to carry this or um, had, have this in your car. Here I have a patrol canister. It is a good old one from the army. So and I can help so other people or if I have to stay long on a place and I need their motor to um, have enough heat in the car and I have to um, yeah if it yeah how should I say this mm. if the motor burns a long time here yeah, that I that my tank is full and I also have an extra portion <laughs>
here in the front at my seat I have an emergency hammer. With this one I can smash the car window and here this is a knife for the strap for this one to um, cut it away if I can't um, open it. This is a very important tool because when you maybe um, are driving into a, a sea or a river and then when you're going under the water you can't open the door and with this emergency hammer you can put the windows open and leave the car. So I had this every time here directly um, close to my seat. And here um, I have a wallet with my documents, um, who I am and who I am I'm living and if, I, if something happened to me, um, who should um, be called um, that there was an accident and maybe some important medicine um, things um, like um, how type of blood I have. So, if I um, had a bad accident and I am hurt and I, there, there um, is a big wound, uh, the, um, the emergency helper, um, the doctor needs to know what, uh, which kind of blood type you are and this really fast. So it is good if you have it uh, written down here in your wallet. And I also had a pepper spray here. Um, normally here in the car side with me. Now I had it in my uh, jacket because um, there are three foxes that are, that, um, yeah, they are here around of my car and I don't know if they um, had um, the fox no, not the fox tape worm. Uh, this is the other kind of illness. Um, I don't know how it, um, how the name is in English. Um, if the fox had an illness, they are getting very aggressive, and um, yeah, are around of people and close to the people, and also on the day. So um, yeah, <laughs> I I've put this here now in my jacket for <laughs> all eventualities. This is the sewer Oki. Um, normally I use it at home um, when the electricity is out. Um, here this happened sometimes. So and then I can put this um, yeah, I can put my light and my computer, laptop, um, hair dryer, fritteuse, what I want here on it. And here it works, it works perfect and for a long time. So, and I also had here some USB inputs, and here I can put a solar bank on it to. Um, make the battery full again but um, the reason why I have this in my car is that I can um, make a low car battery full again with this cables here and um, so I've put this here inside and this two ones on the car batteries and then I can start the car hopefully again. And I had also here the adapter to um, make the Suaoki full inside of the car again. This is for the cigarette um, plug. And here I have also some adapter plugs. This is a really good um, thing, no, how I say it, that normally I use it at home, so um, 
in the winter time it came sometime with me if I had a low battery or someone else. Here is the solar um, module I can put to the soaker so okay to uh, make the battery full again and you see that it is very big it is not the original one for the sewer okay but this is also compatible and works so if i am um, away i just can open this one and put the plug into the sewer okay and it works also into the car and I, if I came back I had um, again um, okay this is different um, how good the sun is lighting inside of the car but um, here it makes the battery fuller so and I ha don't have to stay at this time uh, in the near it works when I am away too of course A small saw, this is the silky pocket boy and here I have this saw for a long time and it is not so good as it was at first when I get it new but it is absolutely okay for stay in the car if I had to make the way free of course not <laughs> from big trees but um, yeah if the trees aren't so big it is okay and <laughs> I am getting warm if I had to work with the small saw. If I ask the people what they have inside of their cars um, for um, emergency or just to be prepared nobody said extra clothes but I think this is um, this is a mistake because um, maybe for example you came away from the road and you have to show will you car free um, at first you are getting very hot because you are working and then you are getting um, wet because of the snow maybe it is raining um, you are sitting on the earth maybe and you had done wet clothes and you're hot and it is cold outside and maybe a little bit windy and this is very dangerous because your body is getting very cold then and yeah you you need normal very much energy to stay the body warm and then when you are wet this is a uh, dangerous situation so and because of this i had always 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 winter and summer time here and back with extra clothes for me and some bigger clothes for someone else here with me that um, i can help me and others if they are getting wet or very dirty so um, the people are comfortable with dry and um, sober clothes and here uh, also warm so yeah don't think that this is stuff that you don't have to carry with you my opinion this here is not my tow rope um, but yeah an emergency you can use it this is normally my climbing rope and I can use this to um, help a person and normally not a car so and this here is an umbrella but it is not a normal umbrella <laughs> it is a tactical umbrella why because um, this is a very stable and if I need it, I can hurt someone with this umbrella. If I put this here away, 
you see that there is metal under it. So the umbrella is very hot and you can fight with it. Um, I don't do this because I like my equipment, but I see movies, movies with this umbrella, um, how um, people are fighting with this and put it against um, yeah, rocks and something else and the umbrella doesn't uh, get broken. Yeah, I don't, I don't uh, carry it for this, um, for using the umbrella like this. Um, I don't like um, those plastic umbrellas. They are, um, they are broken when the wind is a little bit stronger. So <laughs> because of this, I carry this stable umbrella with me. To this I don't have to say much, everyone knows um, how to use this fix straps. This is a big paramedic trunk. Normally um, the emergency doctors use this and this is packed originally and I also packed some important things for me too. I had here inside a lot of medicine and here is also a stethoscope inside, um, a blood sugar measuring device and uh, <laughs> this is a terrible word for me. Uh, Sfigo manor meter <laughs> and a lot of bandage yeah and all this stuff and if something really bad happen maybe I can save a life with this. So um this is only in my car if I if I driving um far away Normally it is inside of my house when there is something happen. Yeah, everyone can buy this. This is not only for doctors. Um, I've become this because um, it was too old that the doctors can use it. Um, but it is all um, complete and it works. And this is the important thing. This is also a kind of yeah, first aid kit. Um, normally it is also for the emergency doctors, but here I've put some special neat things inside so it is not like it was. Here I have my second fire extinguisher. Please um, look before you put it only in your car or in your house how it works. Um, for example, this one here is only for um, a few seconds. People always think that they can push and then it is spring for minutes. No, this is only for a short time. And this is a two kilogram fire extinguisher. And this is also not a uh, no, uh, smaller one. So please check it before you um, only put it here, yeah, anywhere. <laughs> so, and you don't have to spray it like this. You should spray um, with um, stops between. So, you know what I mean? Here are some work tools, multi tool, and this is a metal string knife and some ballastol oil. Oh. 
always right thing those plastic bands yeah a lot of <coughs> small stuff and here is my rope if someone um, came away from the street or myself um, with this one we can bring the car back to the street Here is also a rope um, to restart the car battery if it is low from car to car. Rope again. A small rain um, jacket. Um, I don't know the words of this one. You have to put it on when you had an accident or your car doesn't work anymore. And here, here in Germany, you don't have to stay out of the car at the, um, no, what is the word? There's a big street where, um, <laughs> in, in Italian it is uh, Autostrada. <laughs> you know what I mean. The very, very big streets. Autobahn, we call it in Germany. So, and here I have a bottle of water and some different kind of first aid kits. I also have inside of the bag some extra aid gloves because in the first aid kit there is um, there are just two gloves and this is in the most times not enough. And um, what I think what it is also important I have there a small plastic bags for some, um, yeah, what is the right word for soft limes? If uh, you uh, cut your finger away, for example, this is um, an accident that works, uh, that happened a lot in um, the bushcraft area or your get hurt with your axe or your saw. So it is not wrong to carry a small plastic bag for those situations with you. What you see here is all for the emergency relief. First help for me and other people. I hope I don't forget, forget anything to show. But I think it is all, and it is enough. But um, when you have any idea what I can put inside of my car too, what I don't show you, please let me know. So this is the first part, and the second part is um, food and preparation. This was the first part. If you want, you can check out part two who will be online in the next few days. I've tried to um, put the links to all of the equipment here in the video description. So if you want, you can check it out. So, and now I have only to say thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe, comment and like. And I hope we see us again at the next movie. Have a great time. Bye-bye.